Hey guys, here's my 1968 Camaro SS. I took a video of uh, what's have been done to this car, what changes, uh, what it had previously when I purchased it. Uh, I got this car back in 2016. It had one owner only who restored the car. It's a resto mod, so it was restored with old parts and some new modern parts. Uh, the owner restored the 350 cubic inch engine. Uh, had about 2,500 miles on them, so it's basically new. Uh, the car came also with a Holly carburetor and a um, four-speed Muncie transmission with the suspension. Uh, they had the KYB gas adjust shocks. These ones are very rough on the street. And I believe it's McGoy two-inch drop spindles. So I'd call this as my part one coverage on this car because uh, it's still an incomplete project. I don't think this project will ever end, honestly. Uh, I've worked on the engine, I've worked on suspension, transmission, and right now I'm uh, working on the interior. So the interior hasn't been finished yet. I'll explain later on what's going to happen. Uh, start going around now and explain what's been changed with the car. So I'll start with I've the exterior. Changed the headlights. These are the Oracle seven inch headlights. Previously had the stock ones. I think these are really great. These are, these are just the daytime running lights. Uh, nighttime, they're actually very, very strong. Sometimes I don't even run full lights on. I just run with these because it's a bright. Splitter on the bottom came with the car. I believe they are OER injection. Uh, it has the bumper still on. Cal with induction, two inch. Now, one thing you'd notice about this car, it's actually two-tone. It's black from the bottom, gray all the way from the top, and then uh, got these red vinyls on or maroon vinyls on all over all around the car got some over here I think it gives a nice touch nighttime just looks like black but uh, daytime just changes everything on the back uh, got the SS cap on now the exhaust is actually custom extended to the rear rear and Previously, I used to have them on the side, but too much smoke coming out, too much smell, I'll, I'll get suffocated. So I just decided to extend them to the rear, and I believe, I think they look much better this way. Now the rear bumper, a rear balance, I think it's the RS one because it comes with the reverse lights on. Usually the SS would have the uh, reverse lights up in the tail lights. American Racing, American Racing uh, Torque Trust 105, AR105M. It had the chrome lip. I just painted that black. It looks better. For the shocks, I said it was KYB, and the car had, I think, stock leaf springs. And I'll talk to you next about the suspension. So, I've had this car back with me in the States from 2016 up until I brought it back home here uh, late 2017 and that's when I decided to start with the build so the reason why I wanted to start with an engine swap it was because uh, I didn't feel the car was being as reliable I wanted to daily drive it with no issues the carburetor would just choke all the time gas would flow out uh, it, was, it was just too much to handle I, I couldn't drive the car more than once a week or twice a week without even smelling like I was driving a go-kart all day. First thing I did was look for someone to help me with the restoration. I decided to go with an LS2 engine over here. So fuel injected, LS2 power steering. Uh, also the car didn't have AC, so I've installed AC. Uh, got a huge custom-made intercooler. Over here I got the Detroit Speed um, hood panel, k and air filters. This cover over here I think comes off a uh, Holden, Holden SS I think. And for the transmission I paired it up with a Tremec T56, 6-speed. And what a difference compared to the 4-speed. 
this thing is very smooth i'll talk about the interior next let's just go with the suspension now so next after doing the engine swap i wanted to improve stability street performance uh you know the kyb shocks were just too rough any pothole or any bump you feel it all over your back and i had some issues in the back the car wasn't aligned and shopped around asked a lot of people on forums pro touring team Camaro. a lot of people were very helpful because you know i didn't have the expertise expertise on classic muscles and still don't and i'm learning each day but uh finally decided to go with the right tech street grip kit kit includes the shocks uh, in front HQ series and then same thing in the back and these are adjustable so I think it has 24 settings 24 being uh, the smoothest and uh, smaller the number the harsher I usually drive it uh, I like 10 setting uh, 8 or 10 and you can adjust them from over here After the install, I had a few issues with the right height. Uh, some things needed some fixing. I'll post down the details on what went wrong. Also, please do check uh, my blog. I, I did a build blog covering everything that has done on this car and details. I'll put the link over here. So let's start with the front. Up front, the car, I believe, was lowered way too much. I was getting uh, tire rubbing. My car is not top and, and in the rear it was just too high it wasn't low enough so up front was just too low and the back was higher and i just wanted on it to have perfectly aligned and fix that rubbing issue so again i went to the forum searched talked to people got great advice thanks to all of you i finally decided to get the one inch lowering blocks uh, from right tech and that's that uh, silver plate over there, aluminum. And then at the same time to fix the front issue, I went with the uh, 3 8, I think, 3 8 inch coil spacers from Global West. And that just made a huge, huge, huge difference. I'll show you some before and after photos as well. Now the car rides perfectly, smooth. Also, I forgot to mention one of the most important parts that come with the kit is the muscle bar. That's the sway bar. That pretty much sums what I've done to the car. It's more in performance wise. Next, I'm focusing on interior, just renovating some stuff. Uh, these are the classic seats that came with the car. I've ordered uh, the TMI upholstery sport R seats. I've actually had them, but haven't had the chance to install them yet. They look, they look really great. It's uh, black with a uh, matte uh, black vinyl, uh, suede, and then red stitching. It just gives that car a more sporty look. Steering wheel, this is my third steering wheel. Uh, I got this off Summit Racing, GT Performance. Looks like the Shelby Eleanor steering wheel. Comes with the Chevrolet Banjo horn. And then right here we have the altimeter. Uh, ultralight two gauges I used to have uh, old g-force clay uh, gauges over here this comes this came with the car from the previous owner uh, the radio USB plug AC which is functioning now and right here had to get you know the Hearst ball shifter with the six speed because previously I had four speed I also got custom made uh, console, so that's the console, um, just the material, I'm gonna have to vinyl it or wrap it leather, black, this goes all the way over here, I'm gonna have to drill some to have the you know, shifter relocated, as you can see over here that's where the 4 speed Muncie uh, was placed, this one shifted back with the Tremec. So the console uh, is from Classic Truck Customs. 
goes all the way to the top over here so i'm gonna have to take this off as you can see i broke this one i've kept the vintage ac vents i only have the lap seat belts right now i currently have the lap uh, airplane style seat belts and i've been getting a lot of tickets with actually i walk around with the pants belt just to throw it off over my shoulder in case you know there's like a police next to me or stuff because i still don't have a three point uh seat belt but i ordered those and i got them from classic morris classics three point uh in burgundy or burgundy red uh other stuff that i'm planning to change interior are the carpet i haven't ordered those yet the roof or the vinyl forgot the name of that planning to change that into suede maybe at some other time it's not that important all right let's start her up just to show you how she sounds <laughs> that's about it uh, I've got more details and information in that uh, blog that I have uh, I'll do another video once I update the interior if I do any changes still have a long way to go I'm never gonna finish this project but that's what it's all about right uh, thank you guys for watching please do let me know if you'd like me to do more videos or uh, do any other uh, reviews just let me know thank you